Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania, on Wednesday evening, December the 7th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this evening, folks, 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 6 furlong sprint on the dirt track, 2-year-olds race for a claiming purse of $15,000. Contenders number three, Purim Caton. Number one, Triple Vision. Number six, Ederal. And number six, Our Little Lucky. Number three, Purim Caton is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in his claiming field. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt has hit the board in each of his three career starts to date with two of those efforts, including a maiden breaking win in his last start, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Clinton Potts was in his irons for that 13-length win 15 days ago here at Penn National. Potts is back tonight for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number one, Triple Vision has hit the board in three straight, including a win in his last start, which was his respective maiden breaker. Race 5 summary, number three, Purim Caton. Tops of my contenders list this evening, which also includes number one, Triple Vision, number six, Ed Earl, and number six, Our Little Lucky, 3165 in the fifth from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race five, number three, Blushing Creature, a six to one shot. Drops in class by seven units. Nice overall speed for this eight and a half furlong route test on the dirt. Charlestown, race seven, entry number eight, Silent Dancing, a four to one shot. A Trackmaster Plus Power Pony Qualifier takes a big class drop of 19 units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field sprinting at or about tonight's distance of 6 and 1 half furlongs on the dirt. So from Penn National, on a Wednesday night, waiting for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.